Art Speak interns on seeing gender. How has your perspective on gender developed over time? Growing up, um, I definitely, like as far as I can remember, was brought up with, okay, like the binary definition of gender. But as I kind of grew up, and I think definitely like media and social media has been a really big part of this, I've kind of educated myself and had these conversations and, you know, read posts, read literature, watched media, watched TV about different um, types of ways that people identify um, with their gender expression. And so I've definitely seen, like, can tell that as a person, I've grown from having this understanding of gender as something that's binary to something that is very fluid. I think I was, like, kind of raised to be, like, this very, like, girly girl. Like, my parents never put me in sports. They just put me in ballet. And, like, I wore a lot of, like, dresses and pinks and purples when I was, like, a kid, like, before I was, like, dressing myself. I feel that right now at this point in my life, I move through the world as a girl or as a woman just because that is what's easiest and not necessarily that is what's truest to like my personal identity or how I would want to move through the world. When I was younger, sexism and gender seemed very simple to me, especially because all of the kids that I was around, like we hadn't been socialized so deeply yet. We were starting to notice that society treated us in different ways and that there were different expectations of us, especially in the classroom, especially in our families. So I guess trying to figure out one, where, where a lot of my perception of myself comes from and if it's healthy and two, disregarding that somewhat and trying to figure out the best way that I can live my life in a way that is critical, but also just accepts in some ways that the world is the way it is. I feel like from like day one, I've kind of had to like take on certain roles because of my gender. Like, and I didn't even necessarily realize that as a kid. Um, but like getting older, obviously I've become a lot more aware of those things. When I was little, I thought, okay, there are girls and there are boys and you're born a girl, or you're born a boy. And then I got older and I wasn't even reflecting what trans people were saying, but I was reflect reflecting what like the center left was saying about trans people, you know? And I was like, okay, so there's girls and there's boys and then there's people born in the wrong body, right? Um, and then that's gender, right? Like gender is still this innate thing. And it really did take a while for me to like deconstruct um, gender actually, because I think it is such an innate part of um, our culture that even when we are focused on politically deconstructing it and discussing it, uh, we kind of still fall into the same sort of gender essentialist, like, uh, uh, kind of holes in common sense and in thought. Because it's so ingrained in our society and this gender binary is so ingrained in our society, for so long, it just felt like something that I didn't even have to think about. And I, you know, I use she, her pronouns. Um, and I had friends in my life who were non-binary or who were gender non-conforming. And it wasn't even like a thought that really crossed my mind. But I have to say my experiences working at the museum, my experiences learning about Asian culture, how gender roles manifest themselves in Asian culture has been really a key pathway for me to think about gender in a new way. Instead of just being like a label of like what you were born with, like which reproductive organs you have, it became more as like about learning about what the person is about and being and really understanding like how they want to represent themselves as who they are. Learn more about the ArtSpeak internship at about.asianart.org forward slash art dash speak and on Instagram at ArtSpeak interns. Credits, ArtSpeak interns and interviewees, Ollie Axelrod. Athena Chang, Ida Handworker, Caden Honda, Athene Lejeunesse, Mindy Luo, Sophia Shen, Zora Ueda Hill, Sophia Valdez, Isha Venkadesh, Interviewer, Triana Patel.
Editor, Lorraine Goodwin. Advisors, Maya Hara, Joanna Lee, Megan Merritt, Allison Wyckoff. Copyright, 2021 Asian Art Museum. www.asianart.org